if you're running oscillation, it will not touch off at the same point each time, which means the machine's constantly learning where it needs to be to make the grinding more efficient. And by going with this, you've increased your processing time by 24% if you have it versus not having it. Welcome back to MTD CNC, my friends. I'm with my buddy Lloyd. You may recognize his famous handsome face. Today we're going to talk about the new CS860 sitting right here, and we're going to start with all the differences and advancements on the inside of the machine. Lloyd, would you mind talking a little bit about what you guys have done to continue stay to stay ahead of the game when it comes to grinding in these giant wheels that I see? Okay. So basically, the new CS860. If you look inside. It looks very similar to the CHD270, and that's what they wanted to keep. So most everything looks identical, castings and all that stuff. But what they've done is they've added three measuring systems onto the machine now. So you have a measure cube system, a probing system for your angles, and also the microphone pickup. So what that does is that gives you the, the best possible solution to how much you want to take off for stock removal um, and for measuring everything. So there's no mix-ups where the operator accidentally puts in the wrong angle and now you have to do rework on the blade or the blade has now been scrapped. So on this machine now, they put the DC motors in, it's absolute uh, encoders on it, so there's no more referencing on startup. So the machine remembers its position when it was turned off last, which makes this much faster movement. So internally, it does look very similar to the CHD270, but yet, the advancements have created it with the new software that you're going to be more accurate in what you're trying to do. So yeah, to keep it simple for myself and my friends out there, because you definitely know this product so well in and out, and I know anyone that you support in this industry really appreciates that, but to keep it simple for me, we're talking about now removing some of those operator errors, maybe adding some more precision to it, some more flexibility Correct. to it. We even added some rigidity as well. And you don't even have to actually go into the machine, touch anything anymore. It's all done from this integrated software, which also has its own advancements. Correct. And correct me if I'm wrong, Lloyd, but it's actually a learning AI? Yes, with um, the grinding optimization program here, it's an option for the machine. You, you can get it when you buy it or you can get it later. What it does is, when you enter a one on each one of these, the machine will actually find the highest point of the grinding wheel and optimize the grinding stroke to that point. So if you're running oscillation, it will not touch off at the same point each time, which means the machine is constantly learning where it needs to be to make the grinding more efficient. And by going with this, you've increased your processing time by 24% if you have it versus not having it. So well worth the investment. But even if we start with the software itself, it's the same familiar software that all of your existing customers have. It's just 24% better with the new software. Correct. So what they've done is if you look at this and you look at a CHD270, they've tried to keep it for the older operators. That's why there's a keyboard and a mouse because some of them aren't used to using a touch screen. Um, and then also for the newer operators, the younger generation coming in to do this. So they've kept the screen masks very similar to past generations of the Volmer machines. So now we're talking about more rigidity, which allows us to make deeper cuts. Oftentimes we're messing with carbide, so that's important. We're talking about a measuring system, so we don't have to overthink that and possibly make mistakes. We're talking about the added precision that goes along with it, so we know that everything that comes off is gonna be perfect. But even within this software, and that 24%, you have an added value where you can print out the measurements of the saw blade itself for both internally and externally for the customers? Yes, yeah, so basically what they've offered now on here, you can actually do a measuring cycle for the Z, X, Y, V, and W, and it will print out your diameters, your back clearance angles, your hook angles, your kerf, your uh, tangential angles and radial angles. And what that'll do is that just proves at the end that it's within your specs. So you can sit there and see if, well, if it's not, yeah, then you can go back and check to see maybe there's something wrong, maybe there's a measurement that's not right or something was inputted in the program incorrectly. Um, so, and the customer can have that as well. So basically the customer can see, okay, yeah, it's to his specs and 
which is important to me. I mean, I've dealt with products that need to go to customers. They want those specs. They want it to be precise and detailed. You know how I know you're smarter than me is because half of those angles sounded like made up words. <laughs> so the last time I talked to you, Lloyd, we talked about this system. The one thing that got me really excited about it that I want to emphasize for the audience as well is because we're seeing this box right here and all of these upgrades, we still have the automation success as well. So even though it's not on the side right Correct. now, this is everything that we just talked about still can be fully automated for the customers out there also, right? Correct, yeah. So you can get a three station, five station, seven station, small loader, or you can then get the larger loader as well. Well, we've kind of checked all the boxes, haven't we? When we think about how we're going to do things better in the future, how we're going to have productivity and make money out there, we, we're getting more rigid so we can cut deeper. We're getting more precise so we have less scrap. We have the printouts for the customers so everyone can communicate. And with automation for autonomous running 24-7, check, 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 everything that we need, right? Correct. So basically what Germany has also added to this machine is you have two options. You can do the standard R-axis or you can do the R-axis with the R2 axis attached to it. What I'm about to do is take the blade off so you guys can take a look and see what this will do. So this is the added extra R2 axis which will shift the blade forwards and back this way if you have uh, step back blades. They're more popular in Europe but it's still for the metalworking industry you can adjust this to make sure when it comes in everything stays aligned and nothing Nothing uh, causes a warp or anything like that. So this is an option. If you get the machine standard, you won't have this. It'll be a pneumatic type of plunger that pops this in and out. There's also multiple different carriers you can get for this now. It's, it runs a gamut from the original CHD 251 holders to the 271 to the 272. Um, so they've been able to integrate all that and keep that all the same, which keeps everything familiar. And the learning curve is a lot less from going from a machine that's 10 years old versus to now. The only thing it changes mostly is your technology and your speeds and advancements in the um, measuring process. Ultimately, guys, everyone who's watching, this is German engineering. We know it very well. Vollmer has it here in the U.S. This is my buddy Lloyd. He's very happy I hit record on the first time this time <laughs> to talk about this technology. Lloyd, thank you so much You're for welcome. sharing.